Construction Robotics was founded in 2007 with a goal of bringing robotics and automation to on-site construction. We started Construction Robotics and we decided to build a robotic brick lane system. There were two fundamental problems we had to solve. The first one is how do we handle the mortar? The second one is how do we accurately place a brick with a robot? Robots are typically bolted to a concrete floor where everything is very predictable around it. When you go to a job site, everything is dynamic. You take a robot, you put it up on a mass climbing work platform and it's moving around very dynamically in the wind as people walk around. So as the robot goes to the wall, it's going to follow that. Well, we built a sensing system that looks at a laser that's mounted to a building and corrects for any movement that that platform is undergoing. It corrects for that and accurately places that brick every single time. With the mortar, what we do is very different than what the mason does. We apply the mortar to the brick. So as the, as the robot picks up a brick, it applies the mortar to it and places it at the wall. And we can measure the mortar, temper the mortar, and ensure that any different type of mortar is handled very consistently and reliably. Let me introduce Sam. Sam, say hello. Sam is our brick laying robot, and it's short for semi-automated mason. It's controlled and operated by a wireless handheld, and you use your USB to load all your map files. You feed all the mortar right into our hopper. We have two brick feeds back here, so this job for your half bricks, your decorative bricks. It's propane powered, and we have two propane tanks that you can hot swap. It feeds your bricks with your brick tongs, and it allows you to do anywhere between modular and utility sized brick. We have uh, safety doors, so when you want to get into the work area, you just open the door and it stops the system. As Sam's actually placing the brick, the next brick's being measured, so it knows the exact dimensions of that brick. Here are some of our safety features, including a safety wheel that when it rides to the end of the scaffolding, it will drop down and it will stop the system. And if there's something in the way, it pops up and it will also stop the system, as well as sensors, bumpers, stops, warning lights, and alarm sounds. And this is our SAM 100 system. The setup of SAM starts with a recipe file. Construction Robotics has developed uh, software that allows you to create brick walls uh, very easily and quickly. You can define in those walls things like control joints, window openings, and any other details that are necessary. The on-site setup process really involves three steps. The first process is setting up your HydroMobile and attaching your tracks. The tracks install the HydroMobile uh, very easily. Uh, within about a half hour or an hour, you can get the tracks installed and you don't need to uh, remove them at all for the, the period on site. The robot is then set on the HydroMobile and uh, that process is very quick and easy using a, an on-site telehandler. Step two is your measurement process. Once SAM is on site and you turn it on and you load your recipe file, it asks for measurements. It asks for you to measure where the windows are, where the control joints are, and where any, any particular details are. And those measurements are what allow for horizontal correction within a given space. And that takes into account your job site variation. That transitions you from a very predictable, theoretical uh, wall map to an actual wall map that you can build a wall to. Step three is running the system. Once the measurements are complete, the tender loads the system with bricks and mortar, shows the robot where the laser system is, and then the system can run. And once it starts running, it can run continuously within a given setup for, for hours on end. During operation, while Sam is working within a given setup, the, the mason and the tender keep the system fed, keep it operating, but the system works independently of those people. If they happen to step away for a minute, happen to be talking about a particular detail, or are distracted for whatever reason, the system will continuously lay bricks during that time. 